What's going on, boxing fans? LDBC. This is going to be a really, 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 really quick uh, boxing video response to the good man, Dream Chaser Boxing, Jeff. Um, so let me respond and give you just a really, really quick, because I know you said in your video you wanted us to leave a, a detailed reason why you feel uh, that uh, where, whether your position is that Andre Ward wins by a clean wipeout or Kovalev winning by domination or knockout. Here's, here's a couple of different things. Let me clear up what I meant in my prior video. When I said that Sergey Kovalev was too stiff, he's too robotic, okay? I've watched, when you fight John Pascal twice, right? And then John Pascal is able to, because uh, we all know John Pascal is shit and garbage, uh, and I, I don't want to hear anybody talking about how amazing John Pascal is now that I'm pulling this recent fight of Sergey Kovalev as an example. When you fight a guy like John Pascal who doesn't know how to throw his punches, who holds his hands down low, when you are in the ring with a guy who does not have the speed of thought or the ability to set punches up and throw them in combination, effective combinations, and you're getting caught that leads me to believe no matter how great of a jab you have, okay, because Andre Ward, again, a good jab on any fighter allows you to keep distance. The problem is, is that Kovalev, and you said it, brother, in your video, he takes what you give him, okay? You can't do that going into the ring with Andre Ward. Andre Ward is not going to just allow... Sergey Kovalev to have just jab him all night. Okay? And not only that, we have to take in consideration, brother, the fact that Andre Ward has probably one of the most chameleon-like offensive tactics I've seen in the ring in a long time. He fights... There's no clear... I, no one can go into and list the last 10 fights of Andre Ward and can give me... Well, he consistently did this like he does in every fight. Sergey Kovalev's team are at a greater disadvantage because they do not know how Andre Ward will fight them. Whereas I can list 10 fights of Sergey Kovalev's where Sergey Kovalev has not switched up his style. It is the same repetitive. He's looking for the big knockout. He's trying to line you up for the overhand right. But what happens when that overhand right is not there? What happens if Andre Ward decides to fight him on the inside? You see, all the power in the world, it gets negated if you fight the, the more powerful guy on the inside. And to be honest, I haven't seen whether Kovalev at all. I just don't see Kovalev ripping uppercuts uh, on the inside, constantly being turned and being effective. I just really can't, I cannot see it. So that's where I'm coming from with my position about Andre Ward. Uh, basically, in my opinion, when I say it's going to be a, white, a, a, a whitewash, I mean, it will be something where people will sit there and be scratching their heads and saying, well, why isn't Kovalev doing what he did to Hopkins? Why isn't he doing what he did to Pascal? Because there's levels to this shit. We know that, brother. You, you and I both know that. It's levels to this shit. I just feel like the reason why Kovalev is, his mystique is as big as it is, is because it's been built off of power. I keep trying to tell people, you can have the biggest baseball bat in the world, but if you need room and extension to swing that baseball bat, if you get in close, then what the hell is the use of that baseball bat? That's my response, brother. Peace. Keep doing what you do, man.